Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love readings. We are a bit behind, we want to apologize, but let's get right into your reading Libra. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In regards to love and romance, let's see what spirit has for you guys and what is unfolding before you. All right, your first card, Libra. We have attraction. Your attr um, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So for some of you guys, those of you guys that are currently single, um, this is a, a indicator to me that when it comes to partnerships or relationships, um, there is, uh, you don't necessarily um, give yourself enough time to actually get to know the person. I feel that attraction plays a very strong or important role for you. Um, now this of course has a lot to do, obviously your planet, uh, Venus is all about beauty, about abundance, about uh, the beautiful things of life, right? Um, but when it comes to relationships, um, to be exact, when it comes to partnerships, we often find ourselves like falling in love, not with the person, but with the idea of the person. So again, I feel that for some of you guys, it could just sig signify that you don't really give each other enough time to get to know one another. Uh, most of you, if not um, the majority of you, are pulled uh, more so on the physical aspect. So what they're telling you here is, yes, attraction is very important, but at the same time, when it comes to relationships, it's not just because I'm getting this feeling almost like, you guys love the beginning process or stages of relationships, but when it starts to get difficult or when there's challenges, that's when we often kind of lose interest. Now, uh, this could connect to you on different levels. It is a general reading, you guys. But again, what they're saying here is that, yes, attraction is important, but at the same time, uh, finding someone that shares your commonalities or someone that has the same goals and aspirations that you do will only give, you know, more strength, more um, substance to the relationship. Um, now, for those of you guys that are currently single, um, be mindful when it comes to relationships. If you're not looking for something long term, then of course, that's fine, uh, you know, to multi-date. Uh, or to date multiple people at the same time. That's the whole process of dating itself, right? Getting to know the different people and your options, basically. Uh, but with the attraction, what they're saying is don't put a lot of, or don't put all your eggs in that basket because there will be lack or there has been lack of substance in your previous relationships. And it has a lot to do, again, because... Um, for some of you guys, it could be that, you know, chemistry and everything starts off very like strong because of that magnetic pull or that attraction on a physical aspect. But there is, you know, levels when it comes to partnerships, the more you get to know someone, you often find yourself kind of being, uh, feeling a little bit let down or feeling like perhaps, um, the person of your interest, um, you know, doesn't really vibe or connect with you on a deeper level. And the reason for that is because oftentimes you find yourself to be pulled or drawn to people uh, purely on the physical, um, purely on the physical, and it will obviously affect once you get to know them. Um, for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, the opposite of this message, what they're telling you here is that we have to put our effort and our energy into maintaining the passion into maintaining the desire or them lusting or us lusting after them. Uh, we do have retreat here, so it's time to disconnect from the world. For some of you guys, it could just uh, symbolize that there is a need kind of to go get away. Uh, for some of you guys, there may be some type of short trip, uh, some type of travel involved uh, for the end of February, the beginning of March. And this is highly needed for your relationship. Uh, we, of course, when it comes to everyday life, we kind of fall into the mundane, the, the everyday struggle, right? And we kind of forget about our partners because by the time we get home from work, we're tired, whatever the situation is. What Spirit is telling you is that there's time for, it's time now for you guys to actually put effort in reconnecting or rekindling the relationship and being away um, or, you know, having a romance type of ambience around you will definitely help, um, 
get the stress out, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now, your next card here is very soon. So yeah, again, like I said, I feel that a lot of you guys are going to be looking into going on retreats. Uh, for some of you guys, it could actually symbolize like going on short travels or vacationing uh, with your partner. Now, if you are in fact uh, traveling with family, uh, it is highly encouraged here that you take some time to uh, pretty much to give to your partner uh, as, as in a couple, go out uh, for dinner together not necessarily connected with anyone else, but more so, uh, again, like I said, to put effort, to put emphasize in the romance of the relationship itself, okay? Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, what they're saying here is there is a need for you to pull away perhaps from uh, the people around you, friends. Uh, obviously, friends always want the best for us, right? But sometimes it's necessary for us to disconnect and to go within ourselves or to find ourselves. And what they're telling you here is that for the month of uh, the end of February, beginning of March, it's going to be very important for you guys to be grounded uh, when it comes to relationships. And don't be shy. Don't pull away from uh, being like a, a hermit, basically. What they're saying is, you know, take some time uh, to ground yourself, work on working on yourself, self-healing, whatever it is that you're currently going through, Libra. Um, you will ultimately uh, feel more recharged, feel more motivated. For some of you guys, it could even indicate that you've kind of lost uh, interest in relationships or you feel lost in the present time uh, because perhaps in your romance department, there's not a lot of movement. And what they're saying is that the person that is right for you or the person that uh, will soon impact or have, uh, you know, a major role in your life is quickly coming or presenting themselves to you. But for now, it is important for you to ground yourself and to have or, or understand on a deeper level when it comes to relationships, what initially was told, which is that yes, physical attraction, chemistry is very important, but as well, um, finding someone that shares your, your common interest, finding someone that not just rushing quickly or wanting to pursue a relationship purely because uh, there's a magnetic type of energy, uh, very strong and, and sexual energy is very like heightened. Uh, there's more to relationships than just on a sexual level. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these messages and we are going to the next reading. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.